It was 52 years this past week, July 20th, 1969, the lunar module of Apollo 11 landed on the moon and at 1030 Eastern time that night, Ohio's own Neil Armstrong became the first man to walk on the moon. And 52 years ago this weekend, the world watched to see the safe return of those Apollo 11 astronauts. And for the first time since that day, the Navy frogmen, the underwater military specialists who secured the capsule, well, they have reunited to relive their part of the story. Leon Bibb reports. A reunion 52 years in the making for these veteran Navy frogmen fitting that it would happen inside the Armstrong Air and Space Museum. These are the men who recovered the Apollo 11 astronauts after splashdown, then in their 20s, with the whole world watching. We had rehearsed so oh, much. How many times? That there was just not, I don't know, there wasn't room to be nervous. It was just a matter of getting the job done. I got on board the uh, helicopter and the guy says, welcome aboard, shark bait. That's the first thing he said to me. And I went, thanks a lot, you know. They gave me the job to jump in the water first. First test. I was shark bait. And if I didn't die, they could come in afterwards. <laughs> the group encountered rough sea conditions, the toughest in their early naval careers. They credit their intense training for a successful recovery and getting the Apollo 11 astronauts safely aboard the USS Hornet. But what they weren't prepared for, the wait. While the astronauts were greeted on board by President Nixon, the frogmen were adrift for 90 minutes, inventing ways to pass the time. And I've just always felt part of the first man on the moon, even though the title was shark bait, it was still a good, good time. For 3 News, I'm Leon Bibb.